Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing the products I regret buying video. And I wanted to do this video because there is a lot of products that I think that are going to be good. A bunch of people say that they're going to be awesome and then I go out and try them and they suck. So, I wanted to do this to show you and to warn you to not buy these products because, or buy at your own risk because they don't always not work for me. They can work for other people, but these are just my opinion and I think that they suck. So, let's just get started. The first product that I regret buying is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup. And my shit is in 190 nude and it looks like this and I've heard great things about the um, concealer of this and I haven't tried that but I really want to but I saw this because it was on like sale for like four bucks so I thought that I would buy it and you just twist it up like this and the product comes out the sponge which I think is disgusting but whatever so it kind of like pours out and is weird and looks like this which I think it's also disgusting, but when you, a lot of product comes out and you only need a little bit, like, I don't know, I just think that too much product comes out, so you're wasting product. This is kind of dark for my skin a little bit, but it looks like that, and when you blend it out, it gets very, like, it's really creamy, but in a bad way. It's, like, really thick, and I don't really like it because it gets if you have any type of dry skin on your face it is going to cling to that and it is going to make you have peely like it's going to look like your skin is peeling and it's really gross and I really don't like this because I thought that it would be a good winter like a winter foundation because it is so heavy but it was too heavy and it just made my skin look disgusting so yeah, I really didn't like this, and it was also too dark for me, so I couldn't wear it anyway. Next one is the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation, and this is in the color 150 Classic Ivory. And this was also on a really good deal. It just looks like this. I don't really know how to use this without the sponge, because the sponge it came with is, like, amazing, but that is completely full of foundation, so I can't use it anymore because... That's just gross. So I don't really know how else to use it, but I also find that this is just way too thick and creamy that when you put it on, it's like lathering on a big, I don't even know. It just feels so gross. It feels like it's clogging my pores when I put it on. It just looks like that. And I find that it just clogs up everything and you can definitely tell that I'm wearing this on my face, which I don't really like because I don't like when you can see that someone's wearing foundation. So I thought that this was a big crap product because it's a weird product. You don't know how to put it on and it's just too thick and you can definitely tell that it's on your face. So I really didn't like that. Next thing is my Benefit. It's a 10 boxed powder and I bought this probably a year and a half ago or two years ago and it was my first Benefit product with another thing that is also a crap product even though I love Benefit with all my heart. Um, so it's half a highlighter and half a bronzer and most people really like normal matte bronzers but this bronzer is so shimmery and I think it's because the highlighter that's in it is extremely shimmery so when you try to use them, it gets mixed up, and then the bronzer just is really shimmery. I'll try and swatch it for you. Yeah, so it looks like that, which looks exactly like an eyeshadow that you would wear, and I don't like shimmery um, bronzers at all because I think that just makes me look oily because I can get oily. The highlighter isn't that bad, but I don't think that it shows up really on me because, oh, that's my middle finger, but um, it doesn't really show up on me because I'm dark and it just doesn't look that good. I'd rather use my MAC one, but yeah, I just didn't like these. I don't like shimmery bronzers. I don't know why I bought it just because I thought it looked cool and it was a box powder, but yeah, they're just, it's not very good. They're not very pigmented. I don't think that 
this is worth the money at all because it is $40. And the next benefit thing is a Bad Gal Lash Mascara. And this is extremely old. I don't know why I even still have it just because I like the packaging. But it is a big, fat, huge brush. Like, absolutely massive brush. And I think that it just, it doesn't do anything because it's so big. It just, like, eats my eyelashes and... <laughs> It doesn't do anything at all because it's just so big. And I like precise um, wands so that I can get every single lash. But this just kind of like clumps them together. And I just think it was a really bad mascara. And this is also like $20. So I would not recommend this. And yeah, I just think that the consistency is also really dry. So. This is the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Quad in Sun Safari. And this looks like a really pretty quad. I thought that this was going to be a really pretty quad for neutral eyes and like school appropriate looks. But when you swatch them, that's what those look like. They all look the same and they're not pigmented at all. Like absolutely nothing comes off of this. If you want like seriously, like a look that isn't even there like this color right here is like a really pretty orangey golden copper color when you swatch that you can swatch it like really hard it really doesn't even show up that much and it's really powdery and I really don't like that all it is is that what you can see is just the shimmer there's not really even any color there which I don't like at all so I found that those eyeshadows are just really powdery and really bad and not worth the money at all but Maybe another color in this quad would look better, but the Sun Safari one just is not worth it at all, even though it does look really pretty. Next one is an eyeshadow trio, and this is from Alme. I don't even know why I have this. It's the Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow Trio for Blue Eyes. I obviously have brown eyes, so I don't know why I have this, but it just looks like that. The colors in this, I think, are like way too blue based like the silver they're not it's not that it's a bad like shadows because they come off like really nice but they're really powdery and this silver is the weirdest silver ever it's like it looks like a really light blue so it's not like you can put it on your brow bone because it just looks like a baby blue but you can't put it on your lid because it's so white so I don't know what you would do with that the middle blue color isn't that bad and the brown color isn't that bad but they're all just really powdery and I just think they're not very good quality eyeshadows and Alme is pretty expensive so I wouldn't buy one of these trios again just because I don't think that it's worth the money. This thing is something that a lot of people really like and it is the e.l.f. eyelid primer and that's what it looks like. This is what the wand looks like. And a lot of people say that this is comparable to Urban Decay. I don't think it is at all. I think that this, you need to layer it at least like five times for it to do anything. But then once you put five layers on, it's going to crease. So there's not really a point to it. I find that I have kind of oily eyelids. My eyelids can get oily, but sometimes they aren't. And I just find that it makes my eyelids look even oilier and I just don't like it really. I don't think that it is anything special and I think that an eyeshadow base would work even better than this on its own. So I just don't like that and I don't think that it's, it is a dollar, but I don't even think it's worth that because I don't think it works. And the last two products are both by e.l.f. also and they are lipsticks and they're two different ones. This one is the, I don't even know, this one's from the studio line though and it is in Natural Nymph. And it looks like that and it is literally the color of concealer I ordered this online and I was like okay well I want a nude lipstick so I'm just gonna go for the one that's best rated on the site and it said this one I think this is the absolute ugliest color I've ever seen in my life it's that right there it's looking really red because or really pink because my camera sucks but it really is the color of concealer as you can see right there and I think that it is the worst nude ever it makes you look dead and it's really like chalky and thick so it just gets like stuck in all the lines in your lips and it's just really dry and I hated it and I thought that was like the worst lipstick ever but then there was also this one and this is in 
nostalgic and this is from the one dollar line that they have and it looks like this and I think this is also the cheapest packaging ever I really like the product isn't that bad well yeah it kind of is but um ew. it's like really thick and sticky and you probably can't even see that it looks the exact same color as that when you put it off put it on your hand but um the packaging is like the worst packaging ever it's so like straight up plastic and clear and it just looks really breakable and really cheap and I just didn't like that and also the color isn't even good because it doesn't really even give off shine and it just looks really ugly so I didn't like that and all these products I did not think were worth the money at all they're all crap products so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you've learned something and maybe not pick up some of these products because they did not work for me and they might not work for you and I don't want you to go spend your money on something that is shit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!